all right guys welcome back to the channel here we go we're gonna be opening pokemon's new pokeballs tints 2024 these are the q4 so these are the fall pokeball tints so let's go ahead and open an entire full case or display whatever you guys want to call it here we go we almost thought that we were not gonna get these but yeah they came out so it's pretty cool and there's three packs for every pokeball and i'm not sure which ones uh booster packs are in these pokeballs all right so there we go we got all six out let's put this box on the side all right so let's see you missing anything on the display oh yeah there you go so pretty much these will go somewhere in the back and these in the front and there, there's your kind of display for these all right here we go now guys these are msrp about 14.99 a piece you could you know find these most likely at gamestop with the target walmart uh you no know, your local stores so yeah there it is we get three pokemon tcg booster packs all right so i guess this was the this is the great ball right not sure which ones are these premium ball i believe right we got the ultra ball the regular pokeball all right so here we go guys let's just open these have some fun let's see what booster packs are inside here we go. Hopefully we don't get no regular Scarlet and Violet, right? So here we go, guys. All right. Plus a sticker. All right. So there's a sticker and obviously, oh, two stickers. All right. And there's the one that we were hoping not to get, but Scarlet and Violet, Obsidian Flame, and Paradox Rift. Wow. Wow. Are we sure these are this year's? <laughs> They're not last year's? Yikes. You know, for being this year, you would expect to actually get this year's booster packs, right? Temporal Forces, Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade. What's going on? Check another one. If it's gonna be the same. Yep, it is gonna be the same, guys. Yeah, this is not good. Wow. Obviously, you know, these are fun to collect, these tins, but yeah, guys, I don't know about the booster packs uh, selection for this year's quarter century. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be for every single pack. All right, so we're just going to be getting a few cocoa and sprigatito here. All right, let's move on to our fourth. In here, yeah, guys. Uh, I was actually expecting <laughs> something more exciting. Yeah, this is not good, you know. And even, I mean, if you're gonna go from last year, at least try to include while they evolve, right? Wow, they're finally just trying to get rid of inventory here. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but yeah, guys. Two more Pokeballs. This. Alright. Obviously, these are fine to, fun to give, especially for the holidays coming up. But, um, 
As for somebody who's trying to open some nice boosters, yeah, you guys probably don't want to, you most likely want to skip this item, guys. Yeah, this, unless you guys are still looking for any uh, Obsidian Flame uh, booster packs or Paradox, well, you know, but it's better off just getting an entire booster case, right? Obviously, Twilight Masquerade seems to be the hardest one to get right now at the moment. If you can, it seems to be pretty expensive. So we're actually hoping for Twilight Masquerade in this, but yep, that's not the case. And obviously, we're getting more of these stickers. All right, guys, so we open every single tin. Now let's open the booster packs and hopefully we can pull something pretty cool. All right, here we go. So let's just get rid of all these Scarlet and Violet. All right. All right, there we go. And let's just go over them quick. Oh, we got the Pokemon Catcher. Seems to be a pretty good card. And all right, so we got a great Tusk there. Here's the code card for you guys. Yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I was actually expecting, uh, you know, this year's booster packs, not not last year. All right. But there's a nice uh, Toxic Croak EX here. All right. I'm not sure what the pull rates are on these things. They're good. I mean, hopefully we pull some nice cards, like I said. And there's another, there's a red candy. <laughs> All right. It's pretty interesting. Cold card. So far, it's been three for three on the Scarlet and Violet Basic. But obviously, you know, Scarlet and Violet Basic, but they evolve, Obsidian Flame, you guys get very great pull rates, right? There you go. There's another hit. The Iron Threads. SIR. All right. I guess if you're gonna buy a, a product for Christmas or anything, I suggest to just get the uh, that Charizard box that's out there, right? That we just opened in the channel. You get 10 booster packs, right? And you get the most recent ones other than the Obsidian Flame, but you know, we all know why Obsidian Flame is in here, right? Well, not in here, but in for the uh, Charizard box because it's Charizard. And there we go, guys, another golden card. Wow. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, two Ultras, one SIR on the Scarlet Violet. Not bad. All right. Not sure we just, Getting lucky with these. But right, there we go. No hits. <laughs> and Obsidian Flame. There you go. Let's continue here. What else can we get? We got a Pidgey. Pidgeot. That's a hit. Alright. So yeah, guys. Uh, like I said. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, I was actually expecting something more from these uh, tins. Uh, I wasn't expecting getting last year's booster packs. It's kind of a bummer, right? So I'm not sure. I mean, they're still going to be moving, right? There are Pokeball tins. It is Pokemon, after all. But yeah, guys, it's probably a product you guys should just skip uh, I actually really thought we were gonna get this year's booster packs all right just a nice Pidgeotto here all right nice illustration card all right last booster pack for Obsidian Flame here we go and all right 
We got the Charmander. Okay, now we're moving on to Paradox Rift, which I do believe we are missing some cards for this set to complete. So, not really sure uh, which ones. But let's see, hopefully, some nice pulls. There's the counter catcher again. Okay, so not much there. Wow, we got one hit in every pack for discarding violet. Okay. Now you see Paradox Rift. The poor rate kind of lowers, right? There's the nice Porygon. Counter catcher. And there we go, we got Erin Iron Valiant EX. All right, that's our first hit for Paradox. Hey, nice Joltik there. All right. I actually believe I don't have this Joltik here. Well, that's a nice illustration rare. All right, pretty cool. All right, last boost, uh, two booster packs. There we go. Ah, we got the Dottler. <laughs> I believe I did purchase this card over at TCG Player. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's what happens, right? When you actually think you're not going to open any more of these booster packs. Okay, last pack, guys. Here we go. Can we get one more hit? All right, we got the uh, Bombardier EX. Not bad. All right. Well, yeah, guys. There it is. There's your uh, openings for Paradox, Obsidian, and the Scarlet Violet Basic. Like I did say, we were kind of lucky with the uh, Scarlet Violet. Uh, we got a hit uh, in every pack we did open, and we did um, hit on two, two Ultra... Um, Hyper rares here, including what was the other card? Just an SIR, right? Here we go. The Iron Threads. Hey yeah, guys, uh, so like I said, it comes with three booster packs, a uh, couple of stickers. I'm actually surprised they don't actually have the other starter. Uh, was it Quaxley? Right? Yeah, there's the two stickers. Like they mentioned. These actually are fun for a display, but to open, not sure. Uh, it's everybody's, uh, you know, opinion here to if you want to open these or not. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below, guys, your thoughts on the Pokeball Tins 2024. And I'll catch you guys till the next one. Bye.